Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to learn connect with the Postgres using the Fast API. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. Let's get started. To start with, you have to install the Fast API SQL Alchemy. I collaborate to this to be installed. Okay, let's copy this code and paste it over here. So this we have added. So here we have a from import from the fast API SQL Alchemy we have import and then we have ORM we have from the session maker we have import now create the fast API app right now define the SQL Alchemy models okay so here we have <coughs> I so basically my this is my users table so in the rest API so let's remove this I think in the rest API we have the users table let's have a look users okay so name and the email so let's put name and the email name and email okay moving to the next here we have to set up the database connection string so username i think postgres password admin db name rest api save this so here we set up the database connection string after that create the database tables with the help of this if it is not created create a session maker object to interact with the database next we have to create a API endpoint okay so here we have to import the fast API we need the depends and the HTTP exception let's go and add this okay next we have to go with the import the session from the SQL alchemy so let's add this okay next we have to go with the dependency to get the database dependency to get the database session so this is the function for the database okay and the last one that is the endpoint okay for just retrieving the data by id so let's add this and after this we will confirm that okay so here we will add it like uh, users and item id we will send it and here we are retrieving the data so here we go with this one right so save this connection is done let's run this so here we have this one uvcon main app load okay so everything is perfect let's go and just open the link and let's add the docs for the swagger and here we go with the get api so let's read from it try it out so the item id we will take it from here that is anything that is 17 let's take a look of that 17 record and let's execute this and you will successfully fetch this record that means the connection with the postgres has been done successfully any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day here you can see that the this is the data right in the postgres okay aa and the my uh, email address okay so here you can see that aa and the email address and the id is 17 right so this is done thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day